All right, I'm going to try to keep this intro brief, but if you guys have been following Cold War Zombies, you know that there was a reward given out for completing all main quests in this game, and I have not completed any of the main quests here on my second account. And the reward you get for completing all those main quests is getting purple tier upgraded when you get into game, which is very, very useful when grinding camos in this game. So to make camo grinding a little easier for me, I'm going to have to go through and do all the Easter eggs in this game. And as you can see right here, my fastest quest time is zero because I have never completed the quest for D machine in this game. So today I'm going to be doing the D machine Easter egg just because that's the first map put in this game. But for our next one, I'm going to have you guys pick. So go ahead and leave a comment down below of one Easter egg you want to see me do next. The top comment will be the Easter egg that we do. But for today, we're going to be hopping in and doing the D Machina Easter egg for the very first time on this account. I'm going to be using the Gallo here with this build, Duckbill Choke, Task Force, Ember Sighting Point, 12 Round Tube, and the Marathon Stock with Frenzy Guard. Might switch to fill upgrade, might not, but I think our, our little bean cannon here is uh, probably good enough for today. Let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get this thing done. All right, here we are, flying on in the D-Machina. Now, I've done this Easter egg probably the most out of any Easter egg in this game, but this is also the Easter egg I've failed the most. I think I've done this probably about like six to eight times, and I failed at least four of them. So not the greatest track record that I have here, but I do know a lot of the steps. Hopefully, I won't have to look up a guide. I might forget a step or two here and there, but I'm pretty confident in my ability to get this thing done without a guide. But also, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm feeling way, way better than I was. So still no face cam. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do it within the next video or two. But I am doing a lot better. So uh, thank you to you guys still watching, still coming and chilling with me, uh, even though we're not doing face cam or anything while I'm under the weather here. I appreciate you guys. And it's been a while since I've used this Gallo too. The Gallo was like the meta in zombies when I first got into it. Like I didn't get into Cold War Zombies till after I got Dark Matter uh, on multiplayer. So I got into zombies kind of late around the time like Firebase came out, which felt like a long time for you zombies players from what I've heard. So it's nice to come back, use some guns that I, I haven't used in a long time and to show off a little Dark Aether because I don't really get to use these mastery camos that I take so long grinding for. It's always get one weapon done and we're on to the next. But I'm gonna build up cash here to like, I don't know, round eight or something. Maybe earlier than that. And then we'll get started with this Easter egg. All right, I think 6,000 points is enough. Let's start moving on. We might be cutting it a little close, but that's fine. I'd rather get a head start on this. I don't want to be doing this like on a late round. Let's grab our loose change on the way. Zombie, good night. See you later. Sweet dreams. Pop this open. Grab this loose change. Please lay down. Here we go. Pop this open. Go ahead and open up. Thank you. And we're going left door gang. Trip it on down. Grabbing this loose change. Popping this open. I think we're going to be a little short to open up the next door. So we got to kill a few zombies once we get over there. This area is always so cool though when it's like pitch black. I wish they would have done a lot more dark themed stuff here in Cold War. I think we got enough now. Let's open that up. Turn on the power. Grab this loose change, please. We'll activate this and activate this. Where's our anomaly at? Let me on in. All right, let's head on up after I grab that scrap. Can I grab the aether scope while I'm here? Or the Aether scope part doesn't spawn yet. Yeah, don't. Ooh, armor for free though. Take one little second before we head down though. We can shoot that open and grab the fuse. Zombie, would you please get off me? Any Aether scope parts up here? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think they can spawn on this first uh, trip to the Dark Aether. All right, let's head on down. Give me the pack punch part. Grab the loose change from Deadshot. And let's try to make our way over to pack a punch before it kicks us out of the Dark Aether. This happened too many times where I start dicking around in the Dark Aether and then all of a sudden can't build pack a punch. I took too long. There we go. Let's go ahead and start up our little coffin dance Easter egg. A little double Easter egg action. Surprised I could shoot that far. Grab this one as well. And last one's right here. Got it. I right, go ahead and do your dance. Now I can go up there and dick around in the dark aether. Maybe we can find the aether scope parts. But I'm also not sure if they spawn while doing this either. I guess we'll find out. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I didn't even check down there in the coffin dance room. All right, nothing good there. Let's go ahead and get our reward. Ray gun, maybe? Oh my God, we got it. I say it every time we open the box, I'm still surprised when we get it. Let's go. What a start. Get out of here, plague hounds. You don't want the smoke with me. Okay, now we can get the aether scope parts because we need to go to a specific aether portal, which is up here. Let's open that up. Oh, and the megaton spawn. So we need to take him out and then we can start getting the DIE shockwave as well, which I think we need to get mule kick. So that way we can keep the ray gun and use the shockwave. Okay, let's frenzy guard right in his face. What are you going to do about it, champ? Absolutely nothing. Get squirted on. Take our little ray gun action too. I'm grabbing mule kick right away. Kind of a crazy move. Maybe a stupid move, one might say. But I've never pro protested being stupid. There's one aether scope part. Good luck, hellhounds, plague hounds. See, I don't even know your name. That's how irrelevant, uh, irrelevant you are. If I could speak, that would have been sounded so much cooler. Our next one's gonna be up here. 
by the plane. And then we might have time to portal down and grab the last one. It's supposed to be up here, right? Am I wrong? Where the hell is this part at? Oh, well. Let's head down and grab the other one. Maybe the fuse was the part. Or that's for uh, one of the DIE shockwave uh, alternate ammo types. Because there's one right here. There we go. Maybe I just missed the, the one on the plane. Let's head back up to pond and try to run there. Hopefully we still have enough time. Oh, the Megaton just got smacked. Oh, no. We don't have enough time. Oh, it's right there. It wasn't there earlier. Please. Did I grab it? No, it was right there. I, I must have been standing on top of it or it didn't spawn in. That's bogus. Oh, well. At least we can just start building the DIE shockwave. Get this guy out of here. Let's throw the key card in. Oh, and a Semtex for good measure. Totally on purpose. Let me grab more armor. Nope, we can upgrade this to green, though. Three Cs puffs. Three Cs puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Go ahead and discharge. Yeah. All right, zombies. Bedtime. Give me that. Okay, we shoot that down. We come over here. Do a little sucky suck on the canister. Perfect. Grab the beaker. We can place it, I think. Nope, we have to wait for it to be dripping. I always forget about that. I never even picked it up. And now let's head back in the dark aether. Build the aether scope. Go talk to Vogel. Use the diary or whatever. All right. Do not keep me from this part this time. There we go. Got all the parts now. And it's immediately sending me back from the Dark Aether. Throw it on here. Assemble. Pick it up. And we'll use this. What's up, Vogel? Oh, we need to grab his diary. Forgot about that part. There we go. And here you go, sir. Yep, go ahead and talk. I'm pretty sure we can just move on to the next dialogue. There you go. Now there's two Vogels. We don't need to talk to that one. But one will pop up right here. There we go. Pretty sure that's all of them. He's over here now. And we did it. Let's go. So now his password should be written down, but now we need to start getting all the parts for the, the DIE. We can get this thing going. There we go. Now it's all lit up. Now let's see if I remember how to get all of the parts for the DIE shockwave. So we're going to need a Plague Hound. Should have left one, but I completely forgot about that part. We're going to need a Megaton. Now what do the other ones need? This one needs the fuse. Try to open. Psych. Let's head into the anomaly. Let's get this door open. Head on down here and cut this open. Oh, there's our Megaton buddy. Too bad we'll be leaving. Sorry, pal. Now, if we come over here, this should be open now. Beautiful. Grab that. Now, where's the little dongle? Which one is it? This one, maybe? Yep. Now, let's try this one. Pretty sure this is the one where we need to go absorb the light from the crystals in three parts of the map. I should have probably switched this back to the normal one first, but whatever. Yep, this is the one where we capture the light. Bring that here. Use the portal and go down. Fire it into here. Beautiful. We'll take this one up. Grab this one from Penthouse. Make our way back down. There we go. That's two. We need one more. Excuse me, mister. No, we don't have enough time. I don't even know where the last one is. I'm pretty sure it's up like that way. Oh, I just saw it. Damn. We're making good time and everything. I wonder if we can do it again this round or we have to wait one. Nope. Looks like we got to wait. Fine with me. We're going to need Plague Hounds or a Megaton anyways. I really should have had the original Megaton hit that tree. I wasn't thinking about it at the time. Might as well place the canister down while I'm here. That way I don't forget to do it later. Let's hop back into the portal. Head straight for our last crystal. Come here, Mr. Crystal. This is our Megaton friend. Let's try to get him to shoot our little tree here. Hopefully this works. I think it did. I think it's glowing now. All right, let's head down and get this thing done before this disappears somehow. All right, there we go. All three are in. Now give me the Electro Bolt. Probably the coolest one. You can shoot it and still move at like full speed once it's pack punched I think, actually. <laughs> I don't know if it works when it's non pack a punch but uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. Two to go. Weird it didn't take us out of the dark aether after doing it, though. So can we put our thing underneath this? Yes, we can. And that should be good to go by next round. There's another Megaton for good measure. Actually, you should probably just go put this in the little receptacle. Can they go in there without me activating all the ammo mod things? I guess we'll find out. We gotta get them split first. But if they can't, uh, I guess we're gonna have to keep these two guys along with the, along for the ride until we can. I really need a Hellhound though, or a Plague Hound. Oh, it's all done. Let's go. And grab that and go get another one. Cool that off. Uh oh, a lot of zombies around though. I don't know if they're gonna give me the time to be able to grab it. But I guess right now we can see if this works. No, I don't think it does. Maybe I have to walk it right underneath it. Get on the decoy, please. Let's see if it sucks them up. Oh, no, I'm dead. Please don't die. Okay, don't suck him up until we got all the power on there. Are we finally getting a dog round? 
Let's go. Yes, please fetch my soul. I dare you. I'm right on over here. My soul's waiting right by this thing. Leap. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Go ahead. Suck it all up. Get all the fart juices in. We'll grab that. Oh, no. These Megatons are doing crazy damage to me. I'm not going to lie. I need me some armor. Let's upgrade it to two. Fine with me. Let's switch this to the cryo. Please switch. Got it. Now let's go up and get the stink bomb. Go down the fart canister. Blow it up. Let's switch these out real quick before the Megatons get here and start killing me. Let's get the last one in here. Oh, I missed. Oh, wait. It still works because I shot past it. <laughs> let's go. I'm keeping this last Plague Hound alive just until we get these Megatons in here. Oh, no. They killed the, the Plague Hound. What the hell? Dickhead Megaton. Please come over here. Right over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No climbing. No shooting either. Just get in the fucking box. I'm going to go activate it. Fuck you. Okay, are they done talking about... We need to find the right thing. Oh, we need a decontamination agent. I forgot about that shit. I right, keep these guys alive for a little longer. You're also making me loop all the way around just so I can go activate the next cutscene. Dickhead Megaton. Use this. Let's go. Stay away. Nobody attack me. We're all friends here. We're not friends. We're not friends. Start it. Now we're all friends. Oh, golly me. It seems I've dropped my ball. You think you can go find it? Okay. Oh, wait. I have to wait for their wrench. No, they're attacking me. Fuckers. Okay, so now we have to go up here to the tank. Throw a nade at it. Have the guy come out. We shoot him. And then the tank go off. Right? Oh, no. We never grabbed the Aether wrench. I'm an idiot. I was literally just talking about it. Give me that wrench, please. Thank you. We repair the tank. There we go. Fully repaired. Zombie comes out the top. Bam. Boop. Bop. Is he dead? Did he go back in? Are you serious? That would just happen. Did I make a crawler zombie out of that? What happens if I make that the tank zombie into a crawler? Oh, well, I guess we'll see what happens when I throw a nade at it. Did it do anything? Oh, the tank's still shot. Let's go. Okay, so I did everything right, but I don't think I killed that zombie. Maybe you just got to shoot it. The more you know. Our big meaty balls right here. But Plague Hounds are spawning to defend it. I gotta take at least some of these guys out. I do want to keep at least like one zombie alive. I don't want to keep upping the round if I don't have to. I don't want to accidentally kill these Megatons with my uh, field upgrade. But I'm going to use it just so these zombies can walk. And I can walk faster than them. My big ball with a nipple on it. I think we made it far enough away to be able to make the rest of this run uninterrupt uninterrupted. There we go. Now let's lead them in. Come on. Zombies, get on the decoy and leave me the fuck alone. You, float up to the heavens. You also float to the heavens? Let's go. Okay, we have enough money to go ahead and pack a punch, so I'm gonna do that real quick. We're gonna need a nice weapon to get us through this. The gal's already doing pretty good on damage, but pack a punch just solidifies it. Can't really upgrade anything, though. Oh, we might as well just do this step. All right, now they're fused back together. We've created a monster. Go ahead and break out, mister. There you go. Right out the pooper. Be free. Run away. And now it's all dark in here. Like we were asking for before, but the machine's on. It makes it look nice and cool. So now we can probably just build up a little bit of points. I don't want to go too many like rounds ahead, but I do need some more perks here. I think elemental pop will be useful. So I'm probably going to grab that like right now. If I can afford it. I can. I think speed call is going to help not only with me reloading this weapon faster, but me getting my field upgrade faster. And then I think we might be good to go. Unless there's any perks I'm, I'm missing that I desperately need. Probably quick revive. I do tend to go down. Maybe I should get like a death machine. Is the Wonder Fizz here yet? It is. Let's go. Let's take a look at our perks. So we're probably going to need PhD too. Just so I can like nade at the ground or shoot my ray gun without thinking I'm going to down myself. Nuke probably wasn't the best idea if I'm trying to gain points. I'm not going to lie. Let's get speed cola. Then maybe we throw dead wire on this just to help kill megatons faster. We could actually use like all the perks. Do I save up for all of them and then inevitably lose them in the fight? Or do I tough it out? So I tough it out and it'll be like, oh, I'm underprepared. You know, I could have prepared better and got done easier. So we'll get PhD and then we need more for the rest of our perks. So I'm going to go grab dead wire with the money we have right now. Can I actually buy stuns? I can. Actually, I'm going to get Gersh. Ooh, and Mule Kid got me two Gershes. Beautiful. There's dead wire. Okay, we should have enough for quick revive. And we should have enough for dead shot after this round. And maybe not for both. But quick revive. Probably a need. Ooh, but dead shot. Also a need. Grabbing dead shot instead. Do we go in without quick revive? I feel like we do. You know what? Oh, I feel like if I do, I'm going to regret it. 
I'm, I'm having one of those moments where I'm being indecisive. But the longer and longer I wait, the harder it's going to get. Fuck it, dude. Let's just do it. Yep. You're going to go in there. You're going to die. There's your family. Kiss them goodbye. Bars. And I think that starts it. Oh, wait. No, we need to go down into the basement to start it. After grabbing this family photo, now we go down. I probably could have killed a few zombies there. Then we grabbed grab quick revive and then went down, but it's too late. We're stuck. What's up, Orlov? Guess what? How's your family? They're dead. Spoiler. While you're you're talking about your family, I'm going to go ahead and get armor level three. And that's all I can do. I know it'll cheer them up. Here you go, pal. Nice month old candy. A few months old. Actually, damn near a year old candy. Eat it. I guess maybe half a year. Don't ask me math. If y'all are still asking me math, I don't know what's wrong with you. I want up up. All right, let's get it. Come on, Orlov. I always fuck up on this boss fight somehow. Today's gonna be different. Gotta keep him off of him. This is why Frenzy Guard is gonna be good for this. I'll attract all the zombies. Oh my god, it barely touched you. Let's get this guy out of here, of course. We have split megatons as well. We have so much health. He just keeps spawning more. Let's go ahead and take a step back. Eat one of these. What about that? You enjoy that? Enjoy a nice little black hole? I bet you do. Oh, does it not affect you? Cool. Good to know. Stay away from Orlov, please. Why does dead wire affect Orlov? That's so stupid. Get on that. Come on. No going down. 54 health. We have no more utility. As in nades. Get off me. Megaton. Leave. You're not welcome here. Neither are you. None of you are. Get that work done, Orlov. I believe in you. There we go. That's two. Get out of here. I'm keeping them back. I'm keeping them back. I'm doing my I'm doing my best here. Oh great. Did the fucking big red giant spawn again. Here. Let's do this. Keep him away. Try to do some work on him. You can get as mad as you want, pal. It ain't gonna change the fact that you're gonna die. There we go. I think we got it. Beautiful. I actually made it through this without fucking it up. Alright. Later, Orlov. Enjoy uh, your retribution or whatever. I'm getting the hell out of here. Open up. I don't care about your speech, Orlov. Get me out. I'm leaving. Goodbye. See you later. Peace be with you and all that shit. I'm gone. Unless I die right here. Oh, shit. So low on health. I'm down. But I get up again. Never gonna keep me down. Okay, let me go up here. Take a hard right. Right through here. Please don't kill me. No! No! I'm so pissed. But Joe, you should have got quick revive. Yeah, well. Maybe you're right. I, I'm in awe at how stupid that was. <sighs> Alright, after another 45 minutes of getting this all set up, I finally am back to where I was at. Uh, I have not started the whole boss fight yet, so I'll do that in a minute. I guess the, the final fight, it's not necessarily a boss fight. It's more like a protect uh, pseudo boss thing. I don't even know. But I shit you not, I got the ray gun from the box again from the coffin dance. So back to back ray guns. I have no excuses. And it's not like I even died doing the boss fight the last time or the final fight or whatever. I just need to be better at not getting hit by the lightning. I even picked up tombstone and quick revive. So I got zero excuses. All right, let's do this Orlov. I'll hold him back. Do your thing. Oh, he's got it. He's done. He's on to the next. You got it, Orlov? Let's go. On to the last one. Get the fuck off him. There we go. Finish it. Finish the mission, Orlov. Come on, they're all dead. Let's go. All right, good luck, buddy. I'm not dying this time. Where's those decoys? I just saw some on the ground. I'm using these. Get me out of here. I'm not dying this time. The electricity's already here. It's fine, because we can jump up the middle. That way we don't go down. We can get past these guys. Throw a decoy here. Run around. All right, we made it. We literally just had to just not go down. That's all we had to do. We're here, Raptor 1. Go ahead and land. We made it. We're safe right here. Please, Raptor 1. I'm here. What are you yelling at me for? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Finally. Jeez. Oh, it's finally done. We did it. We completed our first Easter egg on this account. Whew. Later, D Machina. All right, there's our Dark Ops calling card for it. Let's see what time it gave us. Hour and five minutes, that's not that bad. 
Could definitely do better, but I'm just glad it's done. Now let's see if I can find an Outbreak Collapse game on Zoo. I'm picking Outbreak Collapse because I can vote on what map we start on instead of starting random, I'm pretty sure. And unless it throws me in a game in progress and it's on Duga. But I want to see what happens when I go ahead and I do the, the little ritual. Maybe let's do a private one. So I want to see, since purple is like the max tier you get from doing all the Easter eggs, what happens if you only do one? Do I get anything? There's Zoo. If you don't know where to find the offering, I'm pretty sure it's right over here like the top left of the map oh no i'm thinking way differently it's up here by where orda is so the top right of the map i'm gonna take this head on over here it's up in these hills past these houses past the zoo and everything all the way over here and it's right over here you can see this little subdivision little houses over here and you go right up to this oh yeah see i have one filled in out of all of these so that's D Machine, then there's Firebase, Mauer, Forsaken, Outbreak 1, Outbreak 2. So I guess I can't really do anything with it. At least it's not lighting me at the moment. Let me try to get rid of these zombies, maybe it's a different story. Yeah, there's nothing. I guess I gotta have a few of them filled out, so that's cool. I just wanted to see what would happen if I only had one Easter egg done and I came to here. So I guess I gotta get more done. But with that, I'm gonna think I'm gonna end the video here. So make sure you guys comment what Easter egg you want me to do next. Uh, top comment will be the Easter egg that we do. Oh shit. If you guys like this, you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.